Greetings, friends. Reverend Stephen here at St. Matthew Wesley United Church with a brief service for December 26, 2021, the first Sunday after Christmas Day. That first Sunday this year is literally the day after Christmas, and I hope you were able to enjoy the day in spite of the new restrictions made necessary by the rise in COVID cases and the threat posed by the Omicron variant. One of those restrictions is a limit on the number of people that we can have in our sanctuary. The formula from the government means we are only allowed 30 people. And with myself and the music team counted in, that only leaves 24 places for worshipers. Rather than turn people away, we have made the decision that we will go to recorded services for the next three weeks. If the situation improves, we will resume in-person worship January 16th, 2022 at 11 a.m. Welcome then to the first Sunday after Christmas. There are several announcements to be made. Please note that the church office at Pepit Street will be closed until Tuesday, January 4th. I will return to Wednesday office hours here at the St. Columba location on January 5th. If you do have offering envelopes or memorials to be made, please place them in the mailbox at Pepit Street and Lorna will look at them uh, and respond to you uh, very quickly in the new year. We are, of course, available for any emergencies. Just call the office, messages will be checked, or uh, call me at home or Lorna, and we will certainly uh, respond quickly to any emergencies that may arise. Let us turn then to our worship time for the first Sunday after Christmas. We begin as we light our candle of Christ. You assure us, Jesus, that wherever two or three are gathered in your name, you are there. We light this candle to remind ourselves and to celebrate your constant presence. May we always seek your guiding light in our lives. Amen. Our call to worship. Men and women, old and young together, praise God and exalt the anchor of life. Praise God in the highest heavens. Praise God all dwellers on the earth. God commanded and we were created. God sustains us and enables us to grow. 
Praise God all who seek to live in faithfulness. Glorify God's name and join in the loving community. Know that we are chosen by God, holy and beloved. We are called into one body, the Church of Jesus Christ. Let us draw closer to God and one another. Let us join with all creation to worship God together. Let us pray. Height and breadth, length and depth, the whole universe proclaims your glory, faithful God. Your wisdom fills the universe with possibilities we have not tapped. Your word comes to us filled with riches we have not mined. Within ourselves is the potential for greatness as yet unrealized. Comfort us here with your eternal claim on us, and may we become the kind, compassionate, and passionate people you intend us to be. Amen. Friends, it's our tradition at St. Matthew Wesley United Church to devote some time in the last service of the year to remembering those that we lost in the previous 12 months. We want to take a moment to read their names and to uh, silently remember them with gratitude and thanksgiving. For 2021, William Alexander Gilchrist, Wendy Ann Reed, John Edward McKay, Margaret Lucas, George Appleby McKenzie, Joe Williams, Lorraine Gertrude Lees, Edith Louise McIsaac, Mary Sylvia Fudge, Noni Rideout, Marion McBurney, Laura Smith, Albert Jackson Ball, Jean Farrell, David Ivey, Charles Reed, Marion MacDonald. Loving and generous God with hearts still grieving, we offer our thanksgiving for lives lived and memories created. We affirm our belief that those we loved and cared for in this life continue to be loved and cared for in your life everlasting. Amen. Our scripture reading today is a lesson from Paul's letter to the Christians at Colossae, Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 17. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And may God add a blessing to this and to every reading from God's holy word. Amen. And let's bow as we continue in prayer. Lord, in these words, May we hear your word of everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, and friend. Amen. Friends, as we prepare for 2022, we recall the well-known Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. Whatever we might say about our years with the COVID pandemic, we cannot say that they have been dull. Every week is interesting in the sense that our memories of normal are fading. and We are asked to modify our already modified behavior in hopes of avoiding the worst case scenario. 
And indeed, in Atlantic Canada, in spite of the continuing upheaval, we have, working together, avoided a lot of the misery too much of the world is enduring. We say this with deep sympathy for those who have lost loved ones to COVID and those whose effects from the illness cannot be described as mild. And yet, we know that working together, we have been able to avoid the worst and we continue to draw strength in that belief that we are strong together and that with our hearts willing to look out for each other, we will carry on for a while yet. And friends, we want to remind ourselves that as Christian people, we have a role to play beyond simply following public health protocols, though please do follow those. As St. Paul notes in the letter to the Colossians, we are to amplify those traits that make every situation not only endurable, but comfortable and encouraging to everyone that we encounter. As the pandemic seems to go on and on, we will, like everyone else, have our moments of discouragement and anger. But let us strive to make those moments few and far between. For the most part, let us listen to what Paul says in Colossians. Let us, as God's chosen people, wholly and dearly loved, clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Let us bear with each other and forgive one another. Let us wrap it all in love that goes beyond and is always willing to sacrifice and to understand that we are in this situation together. And let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. Since as members of one body, we are called to peace and be thankful. Be thankful every day for the strength that God gives us to live in whatever circumstances come to us, knowing that the first Christians suffered as well, greater than we will ever imagine. Over all these virtues, put on the love of Christ, which comes to us in the power of the Holy Spirit. And we will indeed find peace together and peace for the world. God bless us as this year ends and as a new year begins. In the presence and power of Christ, our Savior and our friend. Amen. We continue as we bow in prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the year that has passed, for all the blessings and the strength to endure these extraordinary times. We know that the world is going through a crisis and that that crisis is not over. But help us to draw on those things that have always given us comfort and strength. Our family, our friends, our church home, the prosperity that we enjoy in this part of the world, the blessings that have enabled us to carry on. We thank you that this year past and this year coming are all years lived in the presence of your Holy Spirit and that you are indeed near in every circumstance. We thank you for the names that we have read, those we have lost, those who have gone to their reward. We know that you are comforting them and comforting those who continue to mourn. We ask you to bless our church as we look into our future, as we adjust to our new church home, as we look for ways that our old church home may benefit our community and our world. We ask your blessing on individuals who are in hospital or are facing illness or injury at home. We ask that you would speed their recovery, give them strength and comfort in the presence of your healing spirit. We ask your blessing on the wide world as people face not only the trouble brought on by the pandemic, but as they face the other things that can happen to individuals and societies. Think of places where there is hunger, where there's thirst, where there is other disease, where there is civil unrest, where there is prejudice and hate. So many things that need to be addressed by the power of love given to us in the Holy Spirit. Help us do our part in prayer and in participation 
in our church and in our wider community of people of goodwill who strive to make this world a better place. Loving God, hear the prayer that has been spoken, the prayers and the needs of each life, the prayer you taught us to say together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
Friends, thank you for coming to church in this unusual way. We thank Keith and others who have provided our ministry of music. We thank Lorna who is faithful in looking after us uh, through this past year and into the year that is coming. We thank you for being the church and we look forward to joining you this way again next week. Until that time, God bless and goodbye for now.